Hi, I'm Joni Hilton, and today we're going to talk about ironing. You know, everybody thinks they're terrible at ironing, and guess what? Until they've practiced, they are. We all stunk at ironing when we first started, but anybody can learn it, and you can too. So here's some tips for you. Uh, the first thing I want to tell you is that when you're ironing, start with your delicate things that have to be ironed at a low temperature, like silk items and polyester items, before you crank it all the way up to your linens and cottons, which have to be ironed very hot. It's much easier to go up in the heat than to back down, and then you might accidentally ruin something delicate if you had your iron on too hot. So that's the first thing. Then, when you lay out your, your items, look at them how they were sewn. Look at the pieces of fabric. This is a good example here. At the top of the back, on a lot of shirts, is a, a panel. Don't try to iron the whole back. Do one section at a time, the way it was sewn together. And believe me, it'll be a lot easier. Another tip is don't push down hard. Ironing is not something that takes a whole lot of muscle. What's working for you is the heat. So you just let the, the iron glide over the surface or even let it just sit for a second if you've got a big crease you want to get out of there. And it will do the job without you having to push. Now, something I love to use, you know, we all know that your, your clothes are going to come out better if they're a little bit damp. So you can kind of sprinkle them damp and wrap them up in a bag and let them sit for a day and they'll really come out better because they'll just kind of have that dampness. But another thing that gets the wrinkles out even quicker, look at this, see all these wrinkles? I hope you can see those. I am going to spray a, maybe I'll spray it, maybe I won't. <laughs> okay, folks, I'm going to pour just really quickly some wrinkle release on there, which you can buy at the supermarket. And to be honest, sometimes you can use that instead of an iron. <laughs> just keep one in your closet. And when you iron with it, it will take the wrinkles right out faster than just regular water. Now another product a lot of people are afraid to use, and I'll demonstrate it on this sleeve, is starch. And it works great, and what's so good about starch is it gives you a crisp finish. You'll look really sharp and put together if you use a little bit of starch on your cotton shirts. And the key with using starch, once you spray it on lightly, let it soak in for just an instant or you'll get some buildup on your iron. You want it to soak into your fabric and then just that long and then once you do and you iron, oh look at that. Look at that. It's like glass. I mean that's the crisp put together look that you see in top executives in commercials. <laughs> but, but see? And of course when you wear it, it, it relaxes. It's not going to hang there like a piece of cardboard but it's going to look nice and sharp. So those are a few ironing tips to make it easier for you. We'll see you next time.